help me welcome the lady of the hour, Jane Mitchell. Jane Mitchell, everybody. Everybody. Yes. Wow, thank you. Yes. A little bit of string action there to welcome her in. Blonde hair, mm -hmm. all natural. The dimples. <laughs> Jane Mitchell, and natural. Uh, I have to say her your, your whole name because uh, you are journalistic uh, royalty. Oh, uh, in, wow! In my book, uh, you have won over uh, 24 um, Emmy awards, not Amy's. <laughs> Different channel. Turns out that was a different <laughs> channel. Yeah. Oh, That's mercy great. me. I don't even want to ask. No, no, no. Yeah. No. But see, with all these different accents floating around in the room from Australia to East Coast and whatnot, so it's Emmys. Um, you have had quite the journey, my friend. Uh, including, here, let me just move this a little bit down there. It's your face. There we go. Uh, you helped get Cox 4, uh, Channel 4, here in San Diego, off the ground. Yeah. Um, you are someone who's very involved in the community, uh, very much involved with charity events. Um, Lou Gehrig's disease is one of the uh, causes that uh, you stand on the front lines arm in arm uh, with the folks uh, you know who battled that that disease. Um, you know you uh, you're quite the woman. You're quite the woman. So this didn't happen overnight. No. So. <laughs> Take us back uh, to your youth. When was it? What triggered wanting to be a journalist, wanting to take up the cause? Wow, you sound like me. Uh -oh. Let's go back to the beginning. I've been, I've been reading up I, on your book. I, I love it. Um, well, I'm a, I'm a native. I grew up, grew up uh, born and raised in Coronado with a Navy family and traveled the world with my parents. Um, we would take our vacations and, and see different places and always stayed either camped or stayed in little you know one star hotels never you know anything fancy schmancy so we really saw the world and uh, from a great perspective a great education i thought i was going to be a teacher like my mom who taught in south bay for many years but I realized when I got a little older I didn't have the patience because I thought the kids should be you know learning as quickly as I was as I was moving along and then in eighth grade I was watching the news with my dad and I saw this guy standing in front of a pyramid you know holding a microphone and I said wow that guy gets to travel the world tell stories be on TV and get paid for it and that really you know that was it and I started my little journalism career from from that point forward and um, made my way through college and the small markets and and actually my dad's illness with ALS Lou Gehrig's disease brought me home to San Diego to help take care of him and uh, be with him the last couple of years of his life and then you know you get a phone call one day and uh, next thing you know I'm I'm being asked to I was hired by Cox and four months later was this concept of having baseball games 150 of them or so on TV and would I come along and help create the channel and tell stories so I never was a sports fan and people uh, <laughs> are always surprised to hear that because they say oh were you always a sports fan and that's one of my most frequently asked questions and I put it in my book and it's like, no, I mean, I went to some Padres games. I remember, you know, Dave Winfield's name being announced. I'm kind of dating myself. But, you know, those are my memories those as, are the as greats. a child. Those yeah. Are the greats. So, so here I am. I mean, that's the short version. <laughs> that is amazing. And, and being a, a San Diego native and then, you know, going on a pilgrimage, uh, mm -hmm. heading off to that horizon, chasing that dream. Yeah. After something you saw, someone with a microphone, you know, telling a story, mm -hmm. recounting something that had happened, an event, and just all of a sudden that triggered. Yeah, it really, I call it my eighth grade epiphany. And that's why I really encourage kids at whatever age, yeah. you know, it's never too young to know what you want to do. I learned by interviewing athletes, you know, many of them knew what they wanted to do. You know, when they were little, they wanted to be the baseball player or the football player. Um, I wanted to be a journalist and it's one of those things that when you follow your heart um, you still have to work hard it's not been easy it, it really has not been easy but it's been the most rewarding journey and because even though it's been a lot of work and in the beginning you don't make much money and it takes a while 
you're you're living it. You know, you're imagining it as a kid and in college, and then you're living it. And I never was so more excited than when I landed in Wichita Falls, Texas, making fifteen thousand dollars, living in a little <laughs> studio apartment, and going to work for the first time. You know, and saying, "Wow, here I am." Yeah. You know, so. That was 25 years ago, but you know, it doesn't seem like that long ago because when you love what you do, just like what you do, you know, you, every day is an adventure. Every day is a little bit part of that dream, even better. Wow. Yeah. That deserves a round of applause. <laughs> that deserves a round of applause. Well, you know, I feel fortunate that I've been in a position that with the people who encouraged me along the way, my teachers, my first teacher, really, my mom, who encouraged me to write since second grade. You know, my dad, who was a wonderful storyteller, and uh, both of them who encouraged me and my family and teachers, um, you know, and people who, I've had bosses and people along the way who said, you'll never make it, Jane. You'll never make it in a market bigger than Tulsa, Oklahoma. You'll never make it. You just don't have that thing, that it factor. And I just, you know, I thought, okay, well, are they right? You know, maybe, but then I thought, no. You know, I'm, I'm just going to keep going for it. And um, it was very nice when Cox hired me that they valued what I had to do, the storytelling and my abilities, which were still sort of unproven, um, you know, because I'd never done anything longer than about a five minute story. And the next thing I know, I'm doing these in-depth sports biographies. But for them to have that confidence in me, um, it was great, really great. Well, you know, I tend to appreciate uh, the naysayers and people who I see as, you know, obstacles along the way, human obstacles, people that, that will do everything they can to just beat you down just to get a point across. And what I always try to tell, you know, kids that I get to, you know, do motivational speaking to or, you know, people I just meet along the way in life, in the journey, is embrace these mm -hmm. events yeah. maybe not the people keep negative people like that away from you but embrace the events because that is what is gonna make you become bigger stronger and make you chase that dream with a, even more of a drive yeah, and sure. you have proven that you have proven that. Well, and you know, I think every step of the way you experience that and you don't know what's around the next corner. And you know, but, I did. Um, you learn from that and you grow and I'm just, I'm so proud of our whole team, what we did. And now we're in a new chapter and people have moved on, but I think we'll always be grateful for that wonderful 15 years that many of us had to, to live that dream and to really test ourselves and push ourselves in ways that we never experienced before. Wow. Give her a big round of applause once again. You know what, I feel like we should be singing like that last song in Greece, Always Be Together, you know, when they graduate high school, you know, and then everybody's like arm in arm. It's like that 15 year camaraderie summed up like that. It, 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 that's beautiful. And uh, I know it's just the beginning for you and your comrades. Um, so we're going to commandeer you till eight o'clock. Is that okay? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, good. We're not letting you leave. Sorry. Uh, anyway, you can't get out anyway. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> when we, strategically placed my When phone. we come back, more adventures with Jane Mitchell and Ben Barella's music. San Diego! I'll play a love song. We'll play something a little. Giddy Up later on. All right, sounds good, and I think I, I know what Giddy Up song I'm in the mood for. I can get so, it for this is called, once again, Divine. Ben Varela with Divine. My wife, 7 9com
like I may see you are my strength And I can do all things, all things through you oh, It's you I long for, it's you I adore And nothing can compare, and nothing can compare gonna go to commercial and we come back we're gonna go one-on-one -on -one with the one-on-one -on -one lady Flip herself it. Jane Mitchell <laughs> Yay. 